Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's devotion for April 10th. Today's devotion is titled Standing Firm, and the Bible reading is from Mark chapter 15, verses 33 to 41. The Death of Jesus At noon, darkness fell across the whole land until three o'clock. Then, at three o'clock, Jesus called out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me? Some of the bystanders misunderstood and thought he was calling for the prophet Elijah. One of them ran and filled a sponge with sour wine, holding it up to him on a reed stick so he could drink. Wait, he said. Let's see whether Elijah comes to take him down. Then Jesus uttered another loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain in the sanctuary of the temple was torn in two, from top to bottom. When the Roman officer who stood facing him saw how he had died, he exclaimed, This man truly was the Son of God. Some women were there watching from a distance, <clears throat> a distance including Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, the younger, and of Joseph, and, Sol and Salome. They had been followers of Jesus and had cared for him while he was in Galilee. Many other women who had come with him to Jerusalem were also there. In the Middle Eastern country where they live, Adrian and his family suffer persecution for their faith. Yet through it all, they demonstrate Christ's love. Standing in his church courtyard, which was pummeled by bullets when terrorists used it as training grounds, he said, today is Good Friday. We remember that Jesus suffered for us on the cross. And suffering, he continued, is something that believers in Jesus there understand. But his family chooses to remain in their homeland. We're still here, still standing. These believers follow the example of the women who stood watching as Jesus died on the cross. They, including Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James and Joseph, and Salome, were brave to stay there for friends and family members of an enemy of the state could be ridiculed and punished. Yet the women showed their love for Jesus by their very presence with him. Even as they followed him and cared for his needs, in Galilee, they stood with him at his hour of deepest need. On this day, when we remember the greatest gift of our Savior, his death on a cross, take a moment to consider how we can stand for Jesus as we face trials of many kinds. Think too about our fellow believers around the world who suffer for their faith. As Adrian asked, can you please stand with us in your prayers? See the link below, which you can't, <laughs> to view Modi, Modi Vaknin's In Pursuit of Jesus video to learn more about Christ's death and resurrection, which you can do on your own, I'm sorry. <laughs> What does standing for Christ look like in your neighborhood? How can you support persecuted believers around the world? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion. I hope you all have a very wonderful Good Friday, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!